This may have been the missing link for successfully treating tinnitus the entire time. Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Modern Tinnitus in Scottsdale, Arizona. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how something called biometric tracking is playing a major role in identifying the potential cure for your tinnitus. If you start to notice tinnitus, one of the first things that you might do is ask if other people around you are hearing the same thing. You might feel comforted to know that other people hear it as well. Or you might feel concerned that no one else you know seems to be as annoyed by it as you are. You see, tinnitus impacts everyone differently, ranging from something that you notice just every once in a while to something that can have a major impact on your day-to-day -day life. And not only can it seem different from person to person, but your own tinnitus might seem to change in pitch, in volume, and in level of annoyance from one day to the next. This can make it incredibly difficult to not only determine the cause of your tinnitus, but to know what to do to reduce your awareness of it or your disturbance from it. This can become even more frustrating, considering the first step that many people take is to see their primary care physician or an ear, nose, and throat physician about their tinnitus. The fact is that many of these professionals are still rather uncertain about just what to do with these patients, and commonly tell them that they'll just need to learn to live with it. This, of course, is not a comforting solution, especially if you have tinnitus that's really bothering you, and the lack of answers can almost seem to make your tinnitus worse. Perhaps one of the biggest reasons that tinnitus still seems so uncertain to so many professionals is because tinnitus is incredibly subjective. Unlike A1C levels that can be checked for diabetes or a CT scan that can reveal a broken bone, Tinnitus is hard to objectively measure. The current way to measure tinnitus is through the use of questionnaires. The most commonly used questionnaire is the Tinnitus Handicap Inventory that asks questions about the emotional and day-to-day -day impact your tinnitus is having on your life. Other popular questionnaires include the Tinnitus Reactivity Questionnaire, the Tinnitus Functional Index, or the Tinnitus Severity Index. Each questionnaire aims to measure the emotional, functional, and behavioral impacts of your tinnitus and assign a number value to it. This number can then be used to determine just how bothersome your tinnitus is to you when compared to others. It can also be used over time to see if treatment interventions have been effective. These questionnaires no doubt provide a lot of valuable insight, but there are still some obvious drawbacks when it comes to relying on subjective reporting about your tinnitus. For instance, you may interpret questions differently from other people, which can lead to unintentionally inaccurate responses. You may feel compelled to exaggerate your symptoms out of the fear of not being believed. Oppositely, you may downplay your symptoms due to fear of being judged. Also, your responses may not always be reflective of your experience over time. Missing some of the nuances of your own situation, especially since tinnitus severity can change from day to day. Or these tinnitus questionnaires may place a lot of focus on your tinnitus distress without addressing other contributing factors like coping mechanisms or support systems. But if we're ever going to find a real cure for your tinnitus, we're gonna need to find a way to objectively measure just how much your tinnitus is impacting you. And this is exactly where biometric tracking comes into play. But before we dive into the way that biometric tracking may revolutionize a tinnitus treatment and potentially even lead us to a tinnitus cure, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up to bring videos like these to a wider audience. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with notification bell. That way you never miss any one of our newly released videos. And let me know down in the comments if you're as frustrated as I am when it comes to the lack of objective measures to track your tinnitus. Biometric tracking is the measurement and analysis of biological data, like heart rate, blood pressure, sleep patterns, and even activity levels. Biometric tracking has already been in use for quite some time in the healthcare space for things like sleep apnea, heart monitoring, and diabetes. Now its utility is spreading into other areas, such as substance abuse and recovery, and you guessed it, even tinnitus. 
This is possible because there are several biomarkers that are a terrific proxy for tinnitus annoyance. And these biomarkers can be tracked using a variety of devices like Apple Watches, Fitbits, Aura Rings, Whoop Bands, the list really goes on and on. The first biomarker that we can track is sleep, which helps to regulate stress hormones, improve mood regulation, and is absolutely crucial for cognitive function. Biometric tracking can not only accurately track the amount of sleep that you're getting each night, but can also tell us just how much time is spent in different sleep stages. Different sleep stages play different roles in the recovery of not only your body, but also your brain, which is crucial when it comes to managing tinnitus. For example, you may spend eight hours lying in your bed with your eyes closed, but that doesn't mean that you got the right amount of REM sleep or deep sleep that is critical for brain recovery. Poor sleep quantity and quality can spell disaster when it comes to coping with and managing your tinnitus. Using this information, we can implement strategies to improve not only the duration of your sleep, but the quality of it too. The second biomarker is exercise and movement. This helps to reduce stress overall, improve blood circulation, and increase mental clarity. Biometric tracking can track your steps as well as your heart rate during these activities, which can reflect the amount of time and energy you put into these tasks. And research confirms that the benefits of consistent physical activity are significantly associated with lower levels of tinnitus severity. Biometric tracking allows us to identify if you're not getting any physical activity or movement, or perhaps maybe just not getting enough to see any of the positive benefits. Using this information, we can recommend easy ways to increase your physical activity so that you can reap all of those positive benefits. And the third biomarker is heart rate variability or HRV. HRV is important in understanding the balance between the rest and digest and the fight or flight branches of our nervous system. Monitoring HRV can shed insight into your ability to manage and cope with stress, something that is significantly associated with tinnitus disturbance. Higher HRV can mean that your body is managing stress much better than someone with a lower HRV. If you happen to have a dramatic drop in HRV that doesn't seem to be tied with any sort of strenuous physical activity, this can tell us that you might be feeling rather stressed, and this can definitely make your tinnitus seem much worse. We can use other data points like time or even your location to pinpoint exactly what this stressor might be. We can then discuss options when it comes to either avoiding that stressor or better managing and coping with that stressor in the future. Other important biomarkers that may be associated with tinnitus are things like respiration rates, blood pressure, and even muscle tension. At Modern Tinnitus, we are pioneering the use of biometric tracking to identify all of these different biomarkers and how they can be used to improve your treatment outcomes. Biometric tracking can be an extremely beneficial component of your tinnitus treatment for many reasons. One reason is that biometric tracking allows for personalized care. This is because we can tailor our tinnitus treatment strategies and recommendations based on your own unique biomarker data. Like I mentioned before, if we have an objective understanding of your sleep quality, we can make better recommendations on how to improve your sleep. This is compared to you just self-reporting how many hours of sleep that you get each night, which may not reflect the entire story. Or there may be certain times of the day when you have a consistent variability in your heart rate data. We can identify what stressors are causing this and have you either remove them from your life or give you some healthier habits and strategies when it comes to managing them. Another perk of biometric tracking is real-time monitoring. This allows us to view your biomarker data over time as well as in the moment. From there, we can make quick adjustments to treatment or even predict issues from prior trends before they become critical. Some of this data may not make sense when you only look at it during a single snapshot in time, but over the course of weeks or months, this biomarker data can paint a very clear picture on what is contributing to or even exacerbating your tinnitus. And finally, biometric tracking can help us to significantly improve your treatment outcomes. This is because we can objectively measure which treatment options have been the most effective for you, which ones need to be modified, and which ones just need to be removed. Just imagine how much more effective and precise we can be with your tinnitus treatment when we can objectively measure and identify what works best for you. 
Gone are the days of just using old school questionnaires or having to rely on self-reporting that is often inaccurate or hard to quantify. Eventually, this biomarker data will allow us to predict which tinnitus treatment options are most effective. This way, we no longer have to waste time on treatments that do not significantly improve your tinnitus. And once we can predict which tinnitus treatments will work best for specific individuals, this will take us one giant step closer to finally finding the elusive cure for tinnitus.